What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Akeem Haynes. I'm a two-time Olympian, Olympic bronze medalist, author, motivational speaker, and sports commentator. On my channel, we talk boxing, MMA, track and field, and of course, motivation and encouraging content. If this is something that you enjoy, then I hope that you subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. Mark Megsayo versus Ray Vargas. What are our thoughts on this fight? Let's talk about it. After a big win, for Meg Sayo in January, in which he beat Gary Russell Jr. to win the WBC featherweight title. He's back in the ring defending that same title against Ray Vargas. I think this is going to be a very good fight. And quite frankly, it's a 50-50 fight. But let's talk about Mark Meg Sayo. Look, a lot of people talk about the power of Meg Sayo. And with 16 knockouts, best believe that power is there. But I think he's often underestimated in his style of boxing. He's got good hand speed, good jab, good movement, and has great conditioning. He's got the same coach as former multiple division champion Manny Pacquiao and Freddie Roach. You can see some of the same similarities and mannerisms, right? The burst of flurries, the bounce in his movements, the quickness in his counters and shot placement. We saw a lot of those great things when he fought Gary Russell Jr. McSayo is not shy or afraid to let the hands go and come forward and make any fight into a brawl. He likes the test, and we know all it takes is one cleat shot to land for any opponent to go to sleep. He has great pop from a short distance. I remember the check jab he dropped Pablo Cruz with in the second round before closing the show out two rounds later with that right hand. However, against Russell, right? Russell was fighting with one hand for the second part of that fight, and I thought if Mark McSayo put pressure on, he could have got Gary Russell Jr. out of there. I didn't really see any adjustments in that fight when Gary Russell Jr. was hurt, right? I just saw him trying to stick to the game plan. I thought a greater portion in the second half, I thought Gary Russell Jr. controlled the pace of that fight. And I thought Mark Megsayo didn't seize the opportunity to make that an even more definitive win, in my opinion. So in this fight, I'm wondering if the plan doesn't go accordingly and he's in there with a different Ray Vargas, I'm wondering if he can make the adjustments and get the job done. He was able to do that in the last fight, but man, it was pretty close the way Gary Russell Jr. was coming back in that fight. But let's talk about Ray Vargas. He's coming in the taller fighter with the longer reach. So you would expect that he would use the range to create space, to keep the distance and control the pace of that fight. But will it happen? <laughs> We'll see. Vargas to me is not your typical Mexican style of boxing. And what I mean by that is Mexican fighters are known for their toughness, their aggressiveness, and their come forward style of boxing. I'm not sure where that comes from. If any of my Mexican subscribers can give me some of that insight, please do. I would love to get your opinion on it. I'm talking about the come forward style, right? That we see so many different Mexican fighters use. But Vargas is a very good boxer. He's got a good straight hand, a good uppercut. He's a good body puncher, and he's got good placements with his shots. In his last seven fights, he's won by way of decision. He had to put his boxing skills on display in those fights, but I did not like his performance against Oscar Negrete. I thought he stood there in rounds and let Oscar swing on him without him firing anything back in the early rounds. He got touched up pretty good in that fight. I mean, you saw the cut over his eyes, but I think it was that same cut, right, that actually made him dial in a lot more because I saw some adjustments in Ray Vargas and he started to move around a lot more using his footwork, his angles, using his length and wingspan and the jab to create distance and space in that fight where he ultimately got the win. He's a smart fighter, and I think he'll need to make those same adjustments in order to beat Megseo. So I'm expecting Megseo to use his speed and quickness and aggression to try and close the gap in order to capitalize on his power. If Oscar gave Vargas problems, Megseo can definitely do the same. If Vargas stands there and tries to take Megseo shot for shot, that is a plan that has an expiration date, and it's only going to be a matter of time before Vargas goes down. He's not as big a puncher as Meg Sayo is. That's not something that he wants to get into a battle with, fighting right inside the pocket and going for shot for shot. My money is on Meg Sayo. But if he comes into the ring ready to use his skill set and his reach, he can edge us on points because it's hard to close the gap in someone when that jab is keeping them at bay. But he can't stay in the pocket like a sitting duck. He has to move. If he doesn't move, I wouldn't be surprised if this one does not go the distance. Now, I'm not saying Mark McSayo can't outbox Vargas, but I think Vargas is smart enough to use his length, his reach to his advantage. And it's tough to outbox someone if you don't know or can't get inside to do anything. But you also know that Ray Vargas knows that Mark McSayo has a lot of power. 
right? So if Mexayo does get in close, I'm expecting Ray Vargas to tie up, right? To tie up and wait for the ref to come and break them because that's a tactic right there in itself for a fighter to catch their breath if they are in trouble. I think he's smart enough and will make those adjustments if he does find himself in those moments. But this is going to be a very good fight and I'm looking forward to seeing how it unfolds right now. I'm leaning towards Vargas. I didn't like the second half of Megsayo's fought against Gary Russell. Russell was closing the gap in that fight with one hand. I think Vargas is going to outbox Megsayo and get the win by the way of decision. However, if Mark Megsayo catches Ray Vargas with a clean flush shot or counter, It'll be over with. Either way, it's going to be a great fight. What are your thoughts on this fight? Let me know in the comment section below. If you've been watching the video this long, then do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to support the channel, there are ways that you can do so in the description below. There is also a cash app handle in this video as well To Your support goes a long way in moving the channel and the growth of the channel forward. So definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll definitely see you next time.